Indiana and want to drive on the roadways, I'll tell you all you need to know about obtaining the necessary permits. I'm Tiffany Rodias, let's talk tax. Any foreigner desirous of driving in Guyana must obtain a driver's permit from the Guyana Revenue Authority. I got my driver's permit! You can obtain a foreign driver's permit in four easy steps. Just complete the application form, which can be found on our website, present that along with the original and a copy of your foreign driver's license. If the license is not in English, you will need to provide a translation document from the respective embassy or language institute. You'll also need a valid form of ID, such as an ID card or passport, and finally, one passport-sized photograph. The processing fee is just 2,000 Guyana dollars. Shut up and take my money! Once you have all your documentation, you can submit them to a GRA office at the Chedi Jagan International Airport, GRA's headquarters on Camp Street, or the GRA Corriveton branch office. The foreign driver's permit is valid for one month only. When driving in Guyana, foreigners must have their driver's license as well as the driver's permit that was issued by the GRA. Talk Tax will return after these messages. Public officials, this you can't miss. Importing a motor vehicle under four years old? You would be happy to know that the taxes have been reduced. If the vehicle is less than 1500 cc, the excise tax rate is now 0%. If the vehicle is between 1500 to 1800 cc and 1800 to 2000 cc, then the excise tax rate is now 10% instead of the previous 30%. Public officers will also be exempted from import duties and VAT. Welcome back to Talk Tax. We're looking at the various permits foreigners need for driving in Guyana. If you want to enter Guyana with your vehicle from Suriname or Brazil, you will need to obtain a temporary motor vehicle certificate from customs at the border crossings. We are going on a road trip! Woo! Foreigners entering with their vehicles at the Molson Creek Crossing or at the Takatu Bridge in Lethem must present customs their passport, vehicle registration, insurance, and a valid Surinamese, Brazilian, or international driver's license. If the vehicle is registered in another person's name, a notarized authorization must be presented. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> Vehicles entering Guyana from Takatu Bridge in Lethem will not need a motor vehicle import certificate if they are not traveling beyond Kurupukari. A motor vehicle import certificate is valid for two weeks. If you wish to extend the period, then you'll need permission from the Deputy Commissioner of Customs at GRA's headquarters. For more information about obtaining the foreign driver's permit, you can visit our website. You can also get more information from our Tax Advisory Services Department on these numbers. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel and social media pages listed on screen.